Get away from me, you spooky f Right, so there is something I've been wanting to share with you for a while. Now, I won't lie, I'm going to try my best not to rant on, but no promises. The thing is, before I get too much into that, there's something I want to quickly talk about regarding the comment section. Now, of course, I encourage you to comment because I want you to feel included. Now, I know there are some people who don't want to do that, and of course, that's fine. But the reason why I want to quickly talk about this is... Yesterday, an individual who comments quite frequently, I say yesterday, yesterday after doing this recording, they made a comment on a video, and for some reason, I could not access this comment. Now, usually what happens is I get a notification on my phone, I get a notification on YouTube itself, and there's even a section for comments that I have not responded to. So, of course, I try to respond to every single one of them. But the thing is, regarding this comment... There was no reason for it to be flagged, as it were. I'm not saying it was flagged, but it's almost as if that YouTube was restricting the restricting who could see this comment. And to cut a long story short, the only way I was able to view this comment was if I clicked on comments I have responded to. But once I'd seen it, clearly not myself or anyone else had responded to it. So I have no idea why that's a thing. Because I have mentioned in the past... The only restriction restriction, sorry, that should be on the comments is you can't put links. That is the only one because a while ago there were individuals putting inappropriate links on the comment section and of course I would not allow that. So simply put, I just want to quickly address the fact that if for whatever reason I do not respond, chances are the same things happens. I mean, don't get me wrong, 99.9% .9 of comments I respond to anyway, but if I don't respond to your comments, that's why. I wish I knew why it was happening, because if I knew why, I could fix the problem. But at this moment in time, I have no idea why that's happening, because the bottom line is, it shouldn't be happening. So, I do apologise if that happens to your comments, but again, I have no idea why it's happening, it shouldn't be happening. So, yeah. So, again, I do want to apologise for that. But, anyway, moving on to the thing I wanted to quickly discuss. I say it quickly. It's probably going to be a lengthy rant. It's regarding the Resident Evil series. Now, I did mention on the first episode of the playthrough for Resident Evil 2 how I had full intentions of playing the first Resident Evil game. Now, the reason why is because if I've got access to prequels, I do, of course, want to play them before playing whatever else. And using Metro as an example is, well, it's a good example because the third game was requested. I've got access to the two prequels, so I might as well play them first. So, of course, I've played Metro 2033. I've got full intentions of playing Last Light at some point, and then eventually I will play Metro Exodus. So I had full intentions of doing the same thing with the Resident Evil series. Granted, I'm well aware there are several Resident Evil games, but the ones I wanted to focus on was Resident Evil 1 through to 8. And what I briefly mentioned in the intro for Resident Evil 2 was I did try and record the first Resident Evil game. And the short version that I gave on that intro was I had issues with recording and editing. The reality is, as you know, I like to record five episodes within the time frame that I've got available. Now, because, of course, with working on Telltales, once I'm done with Telltales, I'll be able to make up free time for working on games like Seven Days to Die. But also, I could revisit the first Resident Evil game. Because here's the thing, a lot more time is going to have to go into playing that game. Because I recorded the first episode and everything seemed fine. And when I started to record the second episode, I started it where there was two pathways. Okay, fair enough. Turns out the first and second pathway were both dead ends, weren't they? And then 17 minutes in total I'd been recording for and only two minutes was worth seeing. During those 15 minutes that I knew I had to cut was me wandering around aimlessly, not knowing what to do. And I will admit, I googled as to what I needed to do. I very quickly learned you don't pick up every item you see because if you've got a full inventory 
and you need a certain quest item. Well, guess what? You can't pick up that quest item, meaning you can't continue on with the game. So, you know, that was frustrating. And then, of course, after Googling it and having to restart from that checkpoint, all that stuff, I then continued to do continued to do the recording and I quickly learned I was back at square one. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. So, of course, I Googled it again. And immediately it clicked on. There's two ways to play this game. There's either Googling it 24-7, and if I'm doing it like that, I'm spoiling the game. It's just not going to be worth recording. Or I do it the proper way. But playing the game the proper way is literally, you find a key, you try on every single door until a door opens, and if you find a quest item, you use that quest item on everything that's interactable until it does something. Within the time frame that I had for doing the usual five episodes, just not doable, so of course I abandoned it. And I just thought, sod it, I'll just start on Resident Evil 2. So, regarding the first Resident Evil game, after Telltales is all sorted, and of course I'm able to make free time for working on games that require more time to edit and record, I will give it another go. God knows when that will be, because let's face it, I think it's safe to say once we're done with Telltales, whenever that is, you are wanting to see more Seven Days to Die before anything else. But of course, I do have full intentions of revisiting that. But the main reason why I want to have this bit of a rant is, I'm going to be honest with you now, I don't know if you in particular have seen um, the Resident Evil 2 playthrough, but one thing I do know is... It gets less views than any other series. Simply put, if you're not interested in that series, that's 100% fine. I don't mind. But, you know how I said with Stranger's Wrath, how it holds the title of being the most frustrating to edit? I'm going to be 100% honest with you. If you enjoy Resident Evil 2 series that I've done, then that's great. But I will go as far as to say it's the most boring to edit. And the reason for that is, it's mainly sound balancing. We're talking for some fucking reason. The characters are practically whispering, while all the other sound effects are fucking deafening. Like, I did make adjustments in-game in between episode 5 and 6, but it wasn't by much, and we're talking the game is fairly quiet, but whenever I stumble across a zombie, they're fucking loud. So, I'm doing my best to sound balance it. A lot of the times, nothing happening. So, I would go as far as to say that it hasn't exactly been an entertaining playthrough to edit. So, point it simply, if you are enjoying it, then that's great. But one thing I'm saying for sure is expect more Resident Evil very soon because I just want to get it out the way. The sooner it's out the way, the better, because if people are enjoying it, they get to see it sooner. I'm well aware that not everyone is watching the series, so of course, once it's out the way, they don't have to worry about just turning on YouTube and being like, oh, for fuck's sake, he's uploaded another Resident Evil. I don't fucking care. That usual stuff. So let's just get it out the way so, you know, I can move on to something else. And speaking of moving on to something else... I don't know when I'm going to start it, but of course I have full intention to play Resident Evil 3. Mainly because, as I said before, I want to play all of them. Or at least, you know, 1 through to 8. Now regarding Resident Evil 8 onwards, I know it's... Sorry, Resident Evil 4 onwards. I know it's safe to say that they are going to be fun to edit, they're going to be fun to watch, going to be fun to play. But when it comes to Resident Evil 3, it is strikingly similar to Resident Evil 2. I don't want it to be the same. Like, don't get me wrong, again, if people are enjoying Resident Evil 2, then, you know, there's nothing to worry about there. But I want to make things a little bit more interesting. And if I, if I had to be brutally honest, I do think the main issue regarding Resident Evil 2, which probably made it seem more boring, is, as you as well know, I did play quite a lot of it prior to doing YouTube. The same thing happened with Resident Evil 3, only not as much. So I thought to make things a little bit more interesting, since I've got access to the infinite rocket launcher ammo, why not get through the playthrough like that? Now don't get me wrong, when it comes to interacting with the game and, you know, items, all that stuff, you know, cutscenes, I will be playing it the way it's meant to be played, granted, but I will have the infinite rocket launcher. Just to spice things up a bit because 
it's, a, it's essentially just going to be more of Resident Evil 2 now, isn't it? So it's going to be one of them where I'm going to play it slightly different and hopefully it will make an Hopefully it'll make a change, a change that's worth watching, a change that's worth editing, make it a bit more entertaining for you to watch and for myself to edit. But anyways, now that I've actually managed to get that rant out the way, there's one last thing I want to share with you. I'm not going to spoil what the game is, but there's a certain game that I'm working on. I literally just done a recording of it. I'm not going to say what it is, but one thing I can say is, is, is if I can stop fucking stuttering, it is a sequel to a game that I know a lot of you are wanting to see. God knows when it's going to get uploaded because I've literally spent hours working on it. Just getting a recording. And here's the thing, I'm not fucking done. I've literally got to record more of it tomorrow. Now the reason why I'm being so cryptic is because there's a, key, there's a few key phrases and a few key words that I've said there. That I even mentioned in the recording. So you'll know what I mean when the episodes get released. But yeah. I'm going to wrap things up so I can actually, you know, sort out files and whatnot. So either ways, hopefully this video has been informative. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.